Who is Anubis, and what was the role of Anubis in Egyptian mythology? One of the original deities of ancient Egypt, tracing his origins all the way back to the Old Kingdom, Anubis, guardian and protector of the dead, was commonly depicted with the head of a jackal and the body of a man. According to Egyptian lore, the jackal god, was in charge of the process whereby the heart of the deceased was weighed on a scale against the feather of truth. If the soul in question proved heavier than the feather, a guilty verdict was rendered and the results recorded for eternity by the god Thoth, who acted as scribe during the proceedings. The innocent were subsequently escorted by Anubis into the heavenly realm, while the souls of the guilty were either cast into a lake of fire to be consumed, or fed to a terrible deity named Ammon. Anubis, also called Anpu, ancient Egyptian god of the dead, in the early dynastic period in the Old Kingdom, he enjoyed a preeminent though not exclusive position as Lord of the Dead, but he was later overshadowed by Osiris. His role is reflected in such epithets as, he who is upon his mountain, i.e., the necropolis lord of the sacred land, foremost of the westerners, and, he who is in the place of embalming. His particular concern was with the funerary cult and the care of the dead, hence, he was reputed to be the inventor of embalming, an art he first employed on the corpse of Osiris. In his later role as the conductor of souls, he was sometimes identified by the Greco-Roman world with the Greek Hermes in the composite deity Hermanubis.